least number of buses I must take to travel from source to target. My aim is to take the least number of buses. No matter what the route is, no matter how many number of bus stops are, the only thing is least number of buses. Let's quickly see the problem statement itself. Let how I can visualize that. If I just go and look back, it is one to seven. I have stops one, two, and seven. For sure, I have marked them with the same color, which means same bus. So for sure, I can travel from one to two, or I can just choose to travel from one to seven, same with the same cost. Because for sure. As soon as I enter a bus, the cost for me is if I change a bus, if I don't change a bus, anyway, I can travel. So from one to two, I can travel. And also from one to seven, I can travel with the same cost. And then ultimately you will see that from seven, you can see it's kind of a junction that or like stop number seven, you can have a bus white and a bus pink. So you were traveling with the white bus or you can just say a metro line having a white line, a pink line. So you were traveling with a white line. You just entered this blue line. So for sure you were entering like you just took on the starting you just took a white line then on number seven you just modified that to a pink line and for sure does the does you require only these two bus stops or these two metro lines now if we just go and visualize a better example just to have you that visualization so we can actually see that let's say i make this example for you guys right and for every example i've written that okay it's the bus stop uh, and for that corresponding bus id or basically the bus number i have these all bus stops with which okay this bus ID will go on to these all bus stops. Now, if I just visualize that to a simpler problem, let's say if the color would have been all same. Now, I, I would have asked you, let's say you are walking or basically I just ask you that, okay, at every bus stop, I will charge you. At every bus stop, I will charge you. Now, give me the shortest possible money spent or shortest possible bus stops you should go to to reach the target. So, what you could, you could have done is you know that every bus stop you will be charged. So, you know these are the bus stops for you, and you know that every bus stop RN will charge me. So, what you could have done is you will start off with with this with zero buses or zero bus stops in in one as as you take one bus or like as as you reach to do one bus stop you know that you will be charged so you will just go and say i reach the, the, these bus stops these both the bus stops are the shortest possible distance from me for sure both are both are the one distance so i can reach both of them by just giving one cost okay next i can just give I can just reach giving two cost. Next, I can reach by giving three cost. Next, I can reach by giving four cost. It's a simple BFS just saying that every bus stop I will be charged. So please minimize the number of bus stops used. So you could have simply done is simply travel at each bus stop. Just try to reach that bus stop as fast as possible. And from that, go to other bus stops as fast as possible. So from here itself, let's say if I erase these uh, back edges from here, I can just go in one in one course. I can go both these places in cost two. I can go both this a simple BFS just to reach bus stop in cost three. I can reach both these places in cost four. I can reach the final destination, which is minimum cost I would require. Let's say if the graph would have been big on left side, still I would have reached minimum cost from the right side. So I would have sent my answer is four even if I can go by the bigger side from the left. So that is one thing that if you modify and look that okay, every bus stop I will be charged. But here it is not the case of bus stop. It is a case of bus. Now I'm just being charged. If I change a bus, I can take any bus stop whatsoever. So now the problem is that I have to just take a single bus. Now I have just removed those back edges, but still you would see that those would not be required for you uh, provided like you can just in the in initially you will just build it up but you will see that that would not be that much required for you you were starting with this node one now i am just asking you earlier in just one cost earlier in one cost you only could reach one bus stop because you know that at every bus stop you will have to encounter a cost so you know that okay in one cost i could only reach one bus stop but now I am saying that in one cost for sure, you have a bus with you, you can just board any bus and that bus, it can go to any stops and that is your cost. So I know that, okay, I am at, at a source of bun. I have two options. I have two boards. I have two buses I can board. I can choose to board a white bus or a green bus. I can choose to board a white metro line or a green metro line. Now, if I choose to board a white metro line, now for sure, I have used a metro, one metro I have used, but options with me are I can by by using just one by 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 using just one metro credit, I can go to 
bus stop to bus stop 7 by just using one metro credit because I have boarded white metro line or white bus line I can now choose to go to stop to stop 7 in just one credit because it's just I have boarded a bus I can just get down anywhere I want same way I can just choose from the one because it's actually also a green line so with this green line bus stop I can go to bus stop 4 and bus stop 5 with this one cost so earlier what was happening was in one cost you was you are only going to the one bus stop now with one cost you can go to all these bus stops which are in this line so you know that at point one I have two lines which is a green line and a white line and in the white line I have and when I say white line I mean the bus ID as one in the white line bus ID one is going on in the green line bus ID three is going on as you saw in the example white line bus ID one green line bus ID two right so I know that uh, my node one node one is having both lines which is actually bus ID of which is it's a stop one so I know that this stop one it will encounter a bus having a bus id of zero and a bus id of two which is bus id of zero which is white line bus id of two which is a green line now Aryan, this is not given in the input with us right because in the input i am given corresponding to a bus id what is the bus stop i am not given corresponding to a bus stop what all bus ids are there or what all different lines are there or what or what all different colors are there that is not given cool no worries we'll actually make a reverse map for it we'll actually see but we can make a reverse map for it that for every corresponding stop give me all the possible bus lines because if i know okay i have a white line and i have a green line then i would know on, okay on a white line i have a node 1 2 and 7 and that is given to a question white line which is a bus id 0 i have node 1 2 and 7 that is that is in the question which is given to us so i'll just simply get to know if i am at a stop 1 i have these two bus ids with me or these two lines with me on these two lines i can travel on these points on id 0 i can travel to point 1 2 and 7 on line 2 i can travel at point 1 4 and 5 and for sure i should visit every point at, at max 1 because i'm just going greedily as close to as possible right one is already visited it's my source so simply don't visit them so i can visit two seven four and five two seven four and five and that too in just one cost so that's how just the only modification you have to do is rather than earlier what you you could have done in simple bfs starting from this source you know the source is zero the cost or the distance is zero so the source is one cost and distance is zero you would have gone to a another target which is like another node uh, as a node 2 now the cost would have increased to 0 to 1 now in this you would have gone from 1 to 4 uh, you would have gone to 4 node the cost have again increased to 0 to 1 so that would have been the case but in this you don't have to worry about it you just have from this starting node you will just see that from this starting node I can just go on to all these nodes which is 2 I can go on to 7 I can go on to 4 I can go on to 5 and for sure the cost incurred or basically the buses changed uh, from there here again just i just I, I just used one bus from source i just used one bus from here itself i just used one bus i just used one bus i just used one bus right just simply on the previous number of buses used simply add a plus one if you just quickly go and for sure if you remember to actually keep track from a specific stop point bus stop if i can reach that particular what all lines bus lines or basically metro lines or basically uh, different color lines i can go to from these color lines i can just know the different stops i can go to in that particular one cost so with this for that only i have to make the entire map from the bus stops corresponding to their bus ids or basically the colors of the bus so that i can just simply do and for every of those bus stops i can just keep track of it as you can see that i have i will simply traverse on my bus stops okay for one the id is corresponding zero so just simply for one map push in a vector as zero for one you will see here also a two will also be pushed so with this you can actually make your entire vector now coming back again what you would have done is simply in your queue in your queue you will have your actual bus stop and also the number of buses used in the beginning source you have never used a bus because you are actually standing here at the source initially so what you will do is you can just use one bus now which means one cost now if i use if i just use a one cost what will happen is 
you just you can just go to two seven four and five i just simply pushed out in my queue two seven four and five and for sure the cost is actually one 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 simply adding a one to all of them because basically i'm just using one bus and this is all the options which i can go to now again from this again i can go to which means in the next iteration of queue i'll just try to fetch from the front of the queue and then try that i can go whatsoever and wheresoever i can i'll just say okay it's a two from two it's a middle um i can go to seven but that is already visited so i cannot go anywhere else okay that will not be used from seven uh i can go where oh I, i'll see okay i can go on one but that is also already visited so i'll just keep track of what all bus stops are visited so that is one thing that i need to keep track of bus stops visited because i i should not go to the same bus stops again and again uh that is one thing now for this node 7 i'll just go and look okay uh bro uh okay you are at node 7 corresponding bus ids give me those corresponding bus ids okay this node 7 will give me corresponding bus ids as this white line and a pink line okay white line was a bus id of zero and pink line was a bus id of one you will see that you had already traveled the entire white line earlier right you have entire you have entirely traveled the bus id zero so for sure it's of no use to travel it again that bus id zero which means for, co for corresponding to bus id zero what all stops i have i have already traveled it one way is again i will iterate on bus id zero and then i will figure out okay i have traveled one i have traveled two i have traveled three that is one thing but you see i see that uh, for sure if i know that bus id zero is already traveled entirely so why check it so what i will do is i'll also keep a bus visited that okay what all bus ids are also visited so that i should not go inside that bus id which means if i go inside the bus id i'll just find bus stops and for sure i have keeping tracking of the bus stop being visited or not that is good thing but it's good to actually cancel that out before itself so i'll just keep track of bus visited also that okay if the bus is visited or not if this bus you will see that this entire white line is visited so simply don't visit it one is not visited okay this is not visited so simply visit it then i will visit a three and a six i'll visit a three and a six simply adding a plus one in their actual buses traveled this four you will see it's in the mid it it can go to five but five or five is already visited so i cannot go anywhere so don't visit anything from this uh, for five again i have two options which are actually bus id2 bus id3 bus id2 is this itself bus id3 is the blue id now bus id2 is green which is already visited so don't visit it bus id3 i can visit it because it's a blue id so i can go into this and for this i have options as eight and six again for eight i can go and visit it's not visited for six Ah, I cannot because six was already visited because I'm keeping track of the bus stops visited, right? So I know that bus stops are visited or not. I'm also keeping track of bus IDs or basically bus visited or not. So that is also sure that, okay, this bus is visited or not. So six is not visited. Oh, cool. So ultimately, when I will be querying for three, there will be no nothing to L to else to add for six. Oh, six is my target itself. So my number of buses use of buses traveled are actually two, which is actually in the second, which is I'll just keep track of it as a pair pair of my actual bus stop and also which means the current stop and also the number of buses traveled. So with this, I can simply get my answer. So you will see that the complexity is entirely number of total bus stops being used. Now in every bus ID, I can have less let's say n number of bus stops for bus ids are 10 bus stops are 25 so at max it will be 26 so that's pretty much it which means the you just visit all the bus stops exactly once in the total entire entire particular graph structure cool that was pretty much it let's quickly jump on the code let's see the code if you go and look back at the code so one thing for sure what we need is uh, as we saw that uh, we would be needing corresponding to every bus stop id i need what is the bus id so i'll just keep track of a map uh, saying that uh, uh, bus stop to bus id right bus ids bus ids so this will make me sure that i go on to all of my um, routes now i should go on in the indexing base so i'll just go on to my all routes now in this all routes i know that uh, um, the bus id is actually number the i and also the uh, entire thing which is the uh, bus stops are uh, this itself which is the routes of uh, routes of i now i I can just do one thing i'll just go on to all of my bus stop in bus stops so now i know one thing that for this corresponding bus stop this is the bus id which is bid which i have marked so i can just go and copy this up and just say for this corresponding bus stop 
just simply go and push back a this corresponding bus id which is i have already found right b id b id now when this is done i know one thing i have entirely got my entire uh, bus id and stuff for or every corresponding bus stop i've got the bus id so i will just now and use a queue because i know that my entire thing is based on my queue and for that queue i should keep track of what uh, which is the current stop so i'll just use of a current stop and also in the queue you saw that uh, i have to also keep up track of the bus traveled so that is one thing but you also saw that uh, i should also make sure that i should not visit things again and again so what i will do is i'll just keep track of the bus visited and i'll also keep track of the bus stop visited so ultimately as you will see that initially you are at a source so that source will actually just be saying okay the number of bus visited are actually zero and for sure the i just visit this particular bus stop so i will just know that uh, this particular source uh, i'll just simply visit and just say that this particular bus stop is visited now as usual a simple queue that uh, while my entire thing is not empty so what i will do is firstly like as you do simple queue you just get the size uh, which is q dot size and then you just simply do and say uh like while of size minus minus because basically like you are just start traversing the entire queue now for this entire queue itself uh, you will have a pair which is in the front uh, like we will see what this pair contains so it will be just q dot front and for sure remove the whatsoever you have inside the front now for sure uh what the first value says first value says what is the current stop and the second value says then uh bus traveled so far the number of bus traveled so far so i'll just say p dot second now just have a quick uh, check that uh, uh if the current stop is actually what we wanted because ultimately you, you, like you just usually have a check now key if that current stop is the target itself now if that is a target uh oh bro simply return the buses uh you have traveled so far so that will simply re like return that now what i can do is i can just simply iterate on all the remaining parts which is um i simply go and iterate on my remaining number of for this corresponding bus stop what all are the buses we have which means at this bus stop what are the number of buses we have so i'll just go and simply say uh bro uh can you please from for the bus stop to bus ids uh can i please get the buses i have so he will just say okay bro the current stop is this so for the current stop these all number of bus ids are there i'll just have a check okay if the uh this b visited which means if this bus is visited already bro please 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 bro don't go into it so if the bus is visited or i can simply say a bus if this bus is visited bro simply continue uh i am in no mood to actually view you now if that is not so i'll just say okay for this corresponding bus what all are the bus stops so i'll just say and go on to all the bus stops corresponding to this bus so that information is stored in my route or basically routes um array so i'll just simply go on to my this particular bus all the stops and i will just ask considering considering that uh, that particular bus stop is not visited also so i'll just say that b stop uh, visited uh, visited of this particular bus stop if that is actually also true so simply continue because you don't want it now if this is not the case valla uh, you are good and for sure if this is not so simply also visit here uh, just simply saying that you don't encounter this again and again condition because you are not setting it true now here also just simply mark this condition and set this condition as true itself so that is again for sure now ultimately what you have to do is just push uh, my entire thing which is the current bus stop which is this particular because as you are on this particular bus stop so you know that uh, you are at this bus stop out of the current current bus stop you have got to this bus stop and for sure the distance travel will be number of buses travel plus 1 plus one now you can simply go and keep on doing it until and unless you just actually return from your answer let's quickly see if there are no typos and stuff uh, oh first time there are no typos great okay cool so that's what we're doing thank you for watching goodbye take care thanks for watching goodbye take care bye bye